let's go. Hi guys, how are you guys? Um, how is everyone? I hope 2021 is treating you fair compared to last year. Like I mentioned in the last video, like, uh, we're planning to travel around Japan and currently we have pretty much completed our camper van as you may be able to see. Kind of a mess, but... Hi Abby! <laughs> so it's pretty much complete so we decided to uh, head to Tohoku region which is northern eastern part of Japan which is uh, pretty cold sort of compared to where we live. We're, we're currently uh, located in Saitama and we're heading to Tohoku. We on purposely didn't really plan where we're going because we weren't sure if we can go to all the sort of the touristy areas. So we're gonna see how much we can cover in about a week and then head back to Saitama. But hopefully there's a lot of things we can discover and see new places. So hopefully, cross fingers. We'll have a good time. It's the cherry blossom season. Cherry blossom is blooming everywhere. roadside station called Kuni. I don't know if you can see this. This is the this is the place. And they have like a RB park and a and a, even a hot spring as well. I just called them and confirmed that you can kind of stay. It's not really uh openly say oh please stay at the parking lot but you can stay so so we're gonna head there today it's gonna probably take about Roughly three hours by um, regular regular road because we're not gonna um, we're not gonna take the highway, so it's gonna take a little a bit longer. But we'll get there when we get there. You know, usually when we travel around this area, you can always see the mountains pretty clearly, but unfortunately, we can't at the moment. I'm wondering if it's um. You can see that mountain over there a little bit, but I'm guessing it could be because of the, the yellow sand, type of sand that comes all the way from China. It may be that. It's, yeah, it's fogging up the air and it's a, it's a pretty uh, neat mountains over here, but we can't see it right now. Bummer. There's a dog. I'm a little worried because the leash is so loose. But, but he or she is happy playing with a <laughs> playing with a paper box. So I just hope the driver drives extremely safe. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> so if you turn right over here, they will head to Kusatsu, which is a, one of the famous um hot spring area in Gumba and one of the famous places in Japan as well. 
haven't been there for ages, but um, it's a great place for if you want to check out all these different types of um, hot springs. But we're not going there today. We're going to, um, what is it called? Kuni. Kuni Roadside Station. So bye bye, Kusatsu. Wow. It looks like a cliff. That's a flat cliff. So we're almost there at the destination, but unfortunately we've been driving for a while but we couldn't find any supermarket or a convenience store so we're gonna just have probably what we brought with us tonight and probably tomorrow morning and there must be one but we just couldn't find any unfortunately oh well we'll survive so um we went to that initial uh, roadside station but I uh, realized uh, it was a little too steep for us to stay overnight. Um, it's gonna be a little hard to sleep. So we decided to just buy some um, yakitori chickens and change to another roadside station, which was about 10 minutes from the original place that we went. We're gonna um, stay here. It's called... Uh, it's, it's this one. It's it's I don't know if you can see but it's oh, no, no, that's not it it's called Yamba Furusatokan so yeah we're gonna stay here tonight okay She loves that treat. Mm. Are you satisfied with your dinner? I think she is. Okay, let's go. We found out that this roadside station is right next to a dam that was built quite recently. So we're gonna check that out while we take a walk. Breakfast. Breakfast time. Let's check out what they got. I think that's the souvenir area, so I'm guessing on the left is the restaurant area. You know what, I thought it's gonna open at 8.30, but it's the souvenir shop that's open at 8.30 and the, uh, the restaurant opens at 9.30, so I don't think we'll wait that long. <laughs> Instead, we're gonna go to the convenience store next to the restaurant and the souvenir store. They have a um, bakery in it, so today's breakfast is bread how is it it is pretty good mm. is it good yeah. yeah i'm gonna try mine this is uh their specialty um it's, it's called what? Yamba Yatsuba Damu Curry Bread. Supposedly that, that looks like sort of like the dam. I think the middle part, the cheese is supposed to be the dam. How is it? It tastes like dam. <laughs> it, it tastes good. It's like yummy. Kawaii You already had your breakfast. I'm having mine. It's not fair. Don't look at me. <laughs> I 
Oh, so this is the foot bath. Yamba Furusato Kan. It's basically some of the pictures about the dam construction. There's a fall nearby, and I believe that's the picture of it. I don't think we have time for that today, but it basically uh, explains the content of the hot spring and what's, what is it good for. And they even sell plastic socks, so you don't have to take off your uh, stockings or tights or your uh, um, pants. And you can still enjoy the warmth of the hot spring. 200 yen for the, the towel. Well, that's pretty hot. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. We wanted to go to the actual hot spring, but it wasn't open yet, so this will do for now. I'm gonna, just gonna refresh my feet and go to an actual hot spring later. <laughs> I think he's enjoying it. <laughs> so we had our breakfast, we had our foot bath right just then and I was looking around while I was walking Abbey and I realized that there's a uh, um, Asama -san, Mount Asama which is about uh, an hour drive from here and uh, it's a pretty famous uh, mountain so we thought we would check it out while we head to um, Niigata Prefecture <laughs> Sit! Sit! <laughs> <laughs>